kids, happy Sunday! I'm Teacher Rika again, and I'm with my best friend. Gusto niyo bang makilala kung sino siya? Mia, halika magpakilala ka sa kanila. Hi, Royal Kids! I'm Mia! Masaya akong makilala kayo at makasama ngayong araw. Oh, huwag kang makulit ha! Makinig ka lang dyan kagaya ng mga Royal Kids. Hey po, sabi mo eh! He, he, he. Excited na kami ni Mia para sa ating matututunan this Sunday. We have so much learned about Jesus. Kayo Royal Kids, excited na ba kayo? Kung ganon, tara at ihanda na natin ang ating mga sarili. Galing-galing nating lahat, Royal Kids! Pati ako at ang best friend kong si Mia ay napaindak dahil sobrang sarap ang magpuri kay Lord. Ngayon naman, mag tayo for our Bible lesson for today. Ready your notebook, Bible, and ball pen. At mahalaga na makinig kayo. Good morning, Royal Kids! How was your week? I hope you're doing good because God is always with you. Kids, do you know any leaders in the Bible? Kindly type in our comment section those names that you know. Today, we will learn about leaders. Can you guess who's this man? He is Nehemiah. Today, we will learn how God worked in his life and how God uses Nehemiah in his kingdom and in leading his people. So ready your heart and your mind as we listen to this video. God's Story Nehemiah So part of God's story is about a guy named Nehemiah, and it goes like this. Remember God's family? They were called the Israelites because they lived in, you guessed it, Israel. But some of them lived far away from their home, 
and one of those guys was Nehemiah. He lived in Persia and worked for the king. One day, his brother told him that a city in Israel called Jerusalem was suffering, and many people there weren't following God anymore, and their city wasn't in very good shape. Nehemiah cried, God, you are wonderful, but your family's home is in trouble. Please help us. When I serve the king his wine today, make him pleased with me and have him do what I ask. Later, when Nehemiah served the king's wine, the king noticed that Nehemiah looked sad. So the king asked why. Nehemiah told him about Jerusalem and asked if he could go back to rebuild the wall. The king could have killed Nehemiah for asking to leave, but instead he said go. He even helped. That's because God heard Nehemiah's prayer and answered it. Anyway, Nehemiah went to work rebuilding the wall, but little did he know he was going to need to ask for a lot more help from God. See, God and his family have always had enemies, and these enemies wanted to stop Nehemiah and the people helping him. First, they made fun of them. So Nehemiah prayed again. He said, "God, some people hate us." Please get rid of them," and went back to work. Now God does hear and answer every prayer, but sometimes not in the way we expect, or even in the way we want. And at first, it seemed like God wasn't answering this one at all, because when the enemy saw that Nehemiah was still building, they planned an attack. But Nehemiah trusted that God heard his prayer, even if it didn't feel like it, and God did. He caused some people to overhear the enemy's plan and warn Nehemiah. Even though the enemies were still after him, Nehemiah planned a defense and told the others, "Don't be afraid of your enemies. Remember the Lord; He is great and powerful." And on they worked, building, building, building. The closer the wall got to being finished, the more Nehemiah's enemies realized they couldn't stop him by making fun of him or by attacking him. Hmm. Time for something else. They tried everything. They sent messages to get Nehemiah to leave the wall and meet them. He wouldn't. They hoped Nehemiah's hands would get weak, but Nehemiah had asked God to make his hands stronger. They even paid a priest to ask Nehemiah to leave the wall and come to the temple. But Nehemiah trusted God more than anyone else, even the priest, and he refused to stop doing the job God had given him. Kids. Are you willing to listen to God and obey him no matter what? Well, finally the wall was done. God's family got to go home again, and Nehemiah's enemies found that nothing stops God's plans. The Israelites celebrated and praised God, and as they praised, they realized how much their sins had hurt God, and they felt terrible. They told God they were sorry and thanked him for helping them. Then they made a brand new promise to follow him, and Jerusalem was once again a safe place where people honored God. And that's the story of Nehemiah. But just so you know, there's another story where God fixes something that's broken. See, one day God would send a very special rescuer, not to save a wall, but to save the world. He made it possible for not just Israelites, but everyone in the whole world to confess their sin to God, thank him for his rescue. And follow him, and just like that old wall was made new back then, our old lives can be made new right now, because Jesus has rescued us. And that's a part of God's story. Sino nga ba si Nehemiah? Si Nehemiah was the son of Hakalia, and a cupbearer of the king of Persia, who lived in Susa. Ang kanyang kapatid na si Hanani. At iba pang Jews came to visit him. Nagtanong si Nehemiah tungkol sa mga Jews na bumalik sa kanilang lupain at kung ano ang nangyayari sa Jerusalem. Nalaman ni Nehemiah na ang mga walls at ang mga gates ay sira na at ang mga Jews ay nasa matinding kaguluhan. This news made him very sad. And then, he fasted and he prayed. Nang tanungin ng hari kung bakit siya ay malungkot, sinabi niya sa kanya ang kalagayan ng Jerusalem at siya ay pinayagang bumalik sa Jerusalem upang muling itayo ang mga pader. Let's see 
kung paano ginamit ng Lord si Nehemiah. Una, God uses Nehemiah to lead the Jews to rebuild the Jerusalem's walls. Nehemiah was God's leader that time who encouraged the Jews to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Ang gawain ng pagtatayo ng walls at ang pag-aayos ng gates ay magiging maraming gawain. Maraming tao ang gagawa nito at matatapos ito sa pamagitan ng pagtutulungan. This is the diagram in Nehemiah's time. As we look at this diagram, nakikita natin kung paano ang bawat section o part ay naayos ng mga pangkat ng mga tao at pamilya. Always remember that God uses ordinary people to carry out His plans. Nehemiah chapter 1 verse 9 says, But if you return to me and obey my commands, then even if your exiled people are at the farthest horizon, I will gather them from there and bring them to the place I have chosen as a dwelling for my name. Pangalawa, God uses Nehemiah to lead his people to be prepared from the enemies. Nehemiah chapter 4 verse 1 says, When Sanballat heard that we were rebuilding the wall, he became angry and was greatly incensed. He ridiculed the Jews. Do you know that God is an enemy? God's enemy wants to stop God's plans and keep him from being honored by others. That time, Sambalat and Tobia made fun of God's people at alam yun ni Hemaya. And then, he prayed to God at nagpatuloy sila sa kanilang ginagawa. Pangatlo, God used Nehemiah to lead his people to set protection around them day and night. Nehemiah chapter 4 verses 10 to 11 says, Meanwhile, the people in Judah said, The strength of the laborers is giving out, and there is so much trouble that we cannot rebuild the wall. Also, our enemies said, Before they know it or see us, we will, we will be there among them and will kill them and put an end to the work. Nehemiah placed people with swords, spears, and balls in the open places and around the wall to be ready to protect against the enemy's attack. Lastly, God used Nehemiah's strong character to stand against their enemies. Nehemiah prayed to God to protect them from their enemies. The work was hard and their enemies are threatening them. But it was God's work and He protected His people and then completed the wall in 52 days. Nehemiah chapter 6 verse 16 says, And when all our enemies heard of it, all the nations around us were afraid and fell greatly in their own steam. For they perceived that this work had been accomplished with the help of our God. Ang mga Diyos ay may isang pisikal na pader na maaaring maprotektahan ang kanilang lungsod. But it's always be reminded na ang Diyos ang siyang pinakamakapangyarihan kaysa anumang pader at nangangakong protektahan ang kanyang mga tao mula sa kanilang mga kaaway. Alam niyo ba na Parehong kaaway ang nagtangkang pigilin ang gawain ng Lord nung time ni Nehemiah? Ay ang parehong kaaway din meron ng mundong ito? Hindi niya gusto na mailigtas ang mga tao mula sa kanilang kasalanan at hindi din niya gusto na maging bahagi sila ng pamilya ng Lord. 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 4 says, The God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that displays the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. Ang kasalanan ay isang pinakamalaking kaaway. Katulad ng nasa kwento kanina, maaari rin tayong magtayo ng walls sa pamagitan ng paggawa ng mabubuting bagay, pagiging isang mabuting tao, o ang pag-attend natin sa church at iba pa. Ngunit kids, 
Tandaan na wala sa mga walls na iyon ang magpoprotect sa atin mula sa ating mga kasalanan. Always remember na ang Diyos ay nagbigay ng isang wall ng protection na palaging mag-iingat sa atin, especially sa ating mga kasalanan. Always remember na si Jesus ay naparito sa mundong ito bilang ganap na Diyos at buong tao. Siya ay walang kasalanan at namatay sa krus na ibinuhos ang kanyang dugo so that all who believe in Him will be saved. Katulad ng mga Israelites who put blood on their poles were protected from death. Jesus shed His blood to cleanse us and removes our sins so we will not be punished and we will not be separated from God. Naway may natutunan kayo ngayong umaga, Royal Kids! Hanggang sa muli! Paalam! Sobrang ganda ng lesson about kay Nehemaya. Sobrang humble ng heart niya. To the point na umiyak siya at nanalangin kay Lord para sa mga tao na mag-build ng wall upang maging matagumpay nila itong matapos. Clear naman sa atin, Royal Kids, na yung ginawa nilang walls ay magpo-protect sa kanila mula sa kanilang mga kaaway. At gayon din sa atin, ang buhay na mayroon tayo ay nagsisilbing wall na ating ginagamit upang mabigyan ng papuri at kaluguran ang Diyos. Mapagpalang linggo mga Royal Kids! Kumusta naman ang pakikinig nyo ng ating Bible lesson today? Marami ba kayo natutunan mula kay Teacher Jolly? Kung oo, sige nga sagutin nyo ang tanong ko na ito. Sino ang inutusan ni Lord upang itayo muli ang walls ng Jerusalem? Tama, siya ay si Nehemiah. Very good, Royal Kids! Naku, mukhang matutuwa si Teacher Jenny dahil marami kayo natutunan at talagang nakikinig kayo. So, sa activity natin for today, of course, may kinalaman din sa pagtatayo ng walls. So, the title of our activities today is Building the Walls of Jerusalem. Sino dito ang excited na upang malaman kung paano gawin ang activity na ito? Kung isa ka doon, sige nga, pwede ba ang itaas mo ang iyong dalawang kamay? Ayan! Mukhang lahat ata kayo ay excited na. Kaya huwag natin patagalin pa. Tayo na't simula na natin. So, the materials that we need for our today's activity are the following. A band paper. A glue or paste. A scissor. Marker. And a ruler. And most of all, the strips of colored paper. Pwede nyo gamitin yung mga lumba yung mga colored paper tapos ikat yung the different shapes. Shapes, no? And if wala naman kayong colored paper, you can use a band paper tapos kulayan na din. And that's it! So, yan na yung kailangan natin para makabuild tayo ng walls of Jerusalem. So, let's get started! Step 1. Gumuhit ng gaya ng nasa video. And step 2, kunin nyo ang inyong strips ng colored paper o yung bad paper nyo na kinulayan nyo and kinat nyo into different shapes at simulan mo nang idikit ito sa so walls ng Jerusalem hanggang matapos. Gayahin lamang nasa video, Royal Kids! And, and we are done building the walls of Jerusalem. And Royal Kids, every time na makikita nyo ang gawa nyo na ito, always remember ang sinabi ni Teacher Jolly na hindi sa paggawa natin ng sarili nating walls o paggawa ng mabuting bagay para tayo ay maprotektahan sa ating mga kasalanan. Tangi ang Diyos lamang ang makapagbigay sa atin ng isang wall para tayo ay ingatan at protektahan, lalo na sa ating mga kasalanan. Kaya Royal Kids, I hope you will do this activity. And as usual, don't forget to take pictures of your work and send it to our group chat. And also, you can ask help from your family members to assist you in submitting your work. 
thank you for participating, Royal Kids. Naway pagpalain ng Diyos ang gawa ng inyong mga kamay. Hanggang sa susunod na linggo, paalam! Galing niyo, Royal Kid! Salamat sa malikhain ninyong mga kamay. Nawa ay magsilbi itong gabay at reminder na may kakayahan ka maging isang leader. Gagamitin ka ni Lord para sa kanyang kapurihan. Hello, Royal Kids! Ako si Teacher Jemima. Kamusta kayo dyan? It's memory verse time ulit. Nakakatuwa dahil ang dami sa inyong nagme-memorize ng salita ni Lord. Tara! Panoorin natin ang mga video nyo. 2 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 5. Examine yourself to see whether you are in the faith. Test yourselves. Do you not realize that Christ Jesus is in you unless of course you fail the test? 2 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 5. 2 Corinthians 13 verse 5. Examine yourselves to see whether you are in faith. Test yourselves. Do you not realize that Christ Jesus is in you? Unless, of course, you fail the test. 2 Corinthians 13 verse 5 2 Corinthians 13 verse 5 Examine yourselves to see whether you are in faith. Test yourselves. Do you not realize that Christ Jesus is in you? Unless, of course, you fail the test. Oh, ang gagaling talaga ng mga royal kids. Nakakataba ng puso na marami sa inyo ang sumasali sa ating mga memory verse challenge. Alam nyo ba, royal kids, pagdating ng panahon, ang mga memory verse na ito ay makakatulong na i-remind ang ating sarili sa mga pangako ni Lord sa atin sa kahit anong sitwasyon. Kaya tara! Tayo na at matuto ng bagong challenge sa linggong ito! Ang ating memory verse ay magsisimula sa salitang nag-uumpisa sa letrang Y. Psalm 128 verse 4 Yes, this will be a blessing for the man who fears the Lord. Psalm 128, verse 4. Ulitin natin. Psalm 128, verse 4. Yes, this will be a blessing for the man who fears the Lord. Psalm 128, verse 4. Kayo naman. Gaya ni Nehemaya, gagamitin din tayo ni Lord kahit saan man tayo niya dalhin. Naway tayo ay maging pagpapala sa mga tao sa paligid natin. Let us continue to fear and love our Lord and surely His love and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives. Hanggang dito na lang muna at kita-kita tayo ulit next Sunday. Bye Royal Kids! Royal Kids, ang galing nyo sa pag-memorize ng verse. Ipagpatuloy nyo lamang iyan upang mabigyan natin ng papurihan ang ating Panginoon. Praise God sa ating natutunan this Sunday. Busog na busog na naman tayo ng Word of God. Ikip natin ito sa ating mga puso at buhay, Royal Kids. At magsilbi itong encouragement sa atin na kaya mo at kaya nating lahat maging isang ganap na leader sa tulong ni Lord. So, paano ba yan? Hanggang dito na lang, Royal Kids. See you next Sunday. And don't forget to like our Facebook page and subscribe to our YouTube channel. At huwag natin kakalimutang i-share sa ating mga friends upang makilala din nila si Lord. Have a blessed Sunday, Royal Kids. Bye-bye!